One Ukrainian soldier was killed in the Donbass conflict zone in the last day. That's according to National Security and Defense Council Secretary Alexander Turchinov speaking on Friday. Three others were also injured. Meanwhile, Ukrainian defense intelligence has suggested combined Russian separatist forces continue to conceal weapons and conduct reconnaissance missions. On Thursday, small weapons and hand grenades were used several dozen times. They mostly targeted Ukrainian positions around Donetsk airport and the city of Horlivka. On the front line, Ukrainian troops keep a lookout for militant saboteurs. They're holding a position near Mariupol, an industrial coastal city that had once been a key target for Russian-led fighters. The servicemen have two main aims now, to repel any attacks and prepare for the cold winter. For the latter, it means reinforced bunkers. This soldier says, of course, civilians have built some strong fortifications here. The dug-in guard posts stand, the concrete bunkers are covered. I think they can withstand 120mm caliber weapons and people inside will not be injured. And with Ukraine's bitter winter on the horizon, the soldiers are preparing for a long, drawn-out standoff. In other words, a frozen conflict. Here is everything I brought and made. I purchased the TV myself. Yesterday, I traveled to watch the news. It picked up a signal. The antenna is Chinese-made, but it's working. Despite the intermittent fire across the front line, the Ukrainian troops here near Mariupol hope the relative peace and quiet will continue for months to come.